Morning, you all. Morning. We survived. That's a, that's always a good sign. <laughs> oh man, having a coffee. You had your coffee already, didn't it? It was getting cold quick. It's about two degrees. Yeah, it is cold. Last night was rather cold actually, but in the sleeping bag it was all good. So, yeah, I had a good night, nice and quiet, and um, it didn't rain. At night it rained a bit during the day yesterday, but just a bit, and in the evening I reckon, yeah. Just but, a drizzle, yeah. Yeah, nothing serious, but and at night it was a good night. Yeah, went to bed at what? Uh, um, eleven, twelve? Yeah, around half eleven. Yeah, slept well till I don't know seven, eight. Yeah. Something like that. Though we lost an hour of, of sleep because last night, you know, there's this daylight saving uh, change of time, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast, nothing fancy. And uh, Ariel now is gonna show you um, where he slept in, yeah? His bed and that. Because last night it was a bit late and there was not much light and it wasn't worth it, so. Right, cut you in a bit then. Peace. So, just wanna show you my camp, uh, my little raised bed where I slept last night. Typically I'm a hammock camper, so for me it was a, a bit of a first, uh, it was quite good. We worked hard to get all the wood and put together these raised beds. Um, so, we have a raised bed and just a little ultralight Sea to Summit uh, tarp. On that I have an inflatable mattress, it's a, an Exped Sinmat 9 I believe. And uh, as you can see it's, it's nice and inflated, nice and soft, and on top of that, just a thin sleeping bag. This is a Corinthia Tropin uh, sleeping bag, white labeled by Eberly Stock. All in all, good night's sleep. Had a great time with uh, Vic, and look forward to the next time. So, thanks a lot, guys. You see, I'm fun to be with. <laughs> hey. So here's another bit of uh, interesting gear we got uh, this time around. So it's the new uh, Helinox Chair Zero uh, by Helinox, obviously. Um, they uh, put together a pretty decent low to the ground chair. Uh, it only weighs 450 grams uh, when packed, so that's good. Uh, the only color it comes in is, is this um, shiny blue aluminum. So what I've done is I've just spray painted it with uh, some camo paint uh, so it's not so shiny uh, and more I guess stealth uh, but yeah it's pretty comfortable pretty stable uh, if it's on wet ground it'll probably sink a little bit so you want to prop it up on some wood if you can um, but all in all good little camp chair weighs close to nothing I like so to unpack it all we do is we pull off this material from the four corners that goes there, and then these little aluminum sticks are on bungee cords, so they can just pop out of the plastic holder, like this. And then once you have that, all you do is roll it in. Get back here. Just like that. There you have it, Helinox Chair Zero. So we're finally packed, ready to go. Was a good trip, yeah, Ariel? It's fantastic. 
it's all good, nice spot, it's all good. And Ariel decided, you know, to give me a present, and I'm really happy with it. He's given me the Gone Boy 220. 220. <laughs> yeah, it's massive, and I'm so excited with it. I finally have a good sewing tool, you know, and um, I don't know. I'm thrilled with it. Ariel's been very ch generous and, you know, thanks mate. You got it, bro. <laughs> it's a real pal. Really happy with it. So, I'm going to treasure this. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to make good use of it for sure. <laughs> I, I wouldn't cool. want to be a tree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be cutting like mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, all that's left is to say goodbye till the next. To thank you all for coming with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we tried and we tried to have fun, which was easy because we did have fun. So, right. Again, thanks for coming. Catch you on, on the next one. Ciao. Bushcraft Ukraine out and God bless. <laughs>